Hi guys, this is Avi, and in today's video, I want to discuss some important things to do when you remove Adobe Muse or your Adobe Muse site. I used to use it, and it's basically a desktop product by Adobe that lets you make websites without coding, and it was a good start for me but I'm switching over to Dreamweaver and I'm using a cool template that I've learned how to use and I just want to make this video to save you some time. So let's say first, uh, this is one, one of my client sites, but I already did this in my personal site and it took me a while. So let's say, here's what I do. Let's say I, I would update my Muse site and change a few things and then you can know exactly um, what day was last modified, and then you can delete all the last modified files from that day, so you know they're not going to be, they're not going to ruin your hosting provider, and they're just files generated by Muse. So it'd be like these things: it'd be Muse manifest, PHP test, the sitemap, and any of the pages. I have phone page also, so I'd remove those. And then um, you'd have to edit the HT access file, and this one was took me a while. Let's see, because uh, I need to get to a secret file. So let's see if it'll let me show hidden files here. And then let's see. FTP quota, so public HTML dot HT access. Let's get it to open up for us. It's going to try to save it because it's not Okay. You could edit. You editor, code editor. Back and you should always back up this file just in case, like, if you mess it up, then you're kind of screwed. So, and then my other side did a few redirects, so it's more important. But this is all you need anything between the begin muse generated redux and the end muse generated redux uh, redirects are things you need to delete. And then your site will work perfectly. Let's see if I could. Uh, here. Let's see if this one would be better. So on my personal site, there was things in between, but I removed them now, so it doesn't matter. But if there's anything there that Muse generated, then you'll need to delete it, and then you could update a new so let's say I, I would end up deleting all these HTML files, then I could just upload a new index.html and then new CSS pages, and then the site will automatically load. And let's just show you. So this is my new site that I worked on. There's a website called Wayback Machine, and I stored an old copy of my app. It's basically my so I'm doing some updates to it, and I'm going to do some SEO things that didn't get to it yet. So I just like taking a backup of my site so I could look at, uh, look at the differences I made. So this is a much older version of my site. Let's see, okay. it is trouble loading the CSS, but you'll, you'll just know that this, this site is not edited in use and the site was so it just took me a while to edit the ht access file because i was I'm not an expert in these things and i didn't want to ruin my site but that's all you need to do and then you don't um you don't even need to change any of these files it's just the ht access and that's it okay have a nice day and i'm gonna see you in the next one